this is the chapter that where in previous lecture we have started with the things regarding synthesis mechanism now we just go with some other things and after that we start the solution or we can say that the basic about the synthesis and importance of synthesis. These are the some basic overview that we discussed today in our lecture. Introduction, synthesis of function generation, type synthesis, number synthesis, and dimension synthesis. One by one, start with the, the subject that we know very well, this is kinematics and speed of motion so where we discuss the motion of the limb and uh, whenever we talk about motion of limb on that time this analysis and synthesis is very important so based on that point of view based on uh, that we have considered that is very important The science of mechanism, kinematics is roughly divided in two diversion topics, right? Already, uh, when we talk about the analysis and synthesis, then uh, as we know in the design engineering and as we know in the uh, another subject like uh, AMD or FMD, on that time we just talk about the analysis. Okay, but we don't. Uh, see or don't think about synthesis so these two what are very important when we, we have to design the enemy Analysis is study of motion and forces concern different parts of an existing mechanism. Suppose we have one mechanism, we have another mechanism, we have we have one more mechanism on that time. If this mechanism are uh, work with which kind of motion and which kind of forces are applied on that, due to that which kind of uh, analysis or which kind of uh, uh, movement we are getting if you want to find then it is called as a analysis and synthesis it is study of the design of its different parts each and every there are when we talk about the mechanism then mechanism that we know very well that it is not directly prepared from the one link but more than one links are more than one link is there and uh, if any one link is fixed then the mechanism is created right so we when we talk about the mechanism then there are not only one part but there are many parts so if we have to do the synthesis then study of each and every parts design study of each and every part of design with different then it is called as a synthesis synthesis of function generation function generation synthesis it may divide into parts as i discussed in the table that graphical synthesis and analytical synthesis if we talk about a graphical synthesis then once again it may divide into portion invention method relative pool method and when we talk about analytical synthesis then it divides into two parts once again that is forbar mechanism and slider crank mechanism As, as I uh, initially talk about the three kind of synthesis, the type synthesis, number synthesis, and dimension synthesis, we start with the type synthesis. Just a read, uh, which is really very easy to understand if you read it with your way, and you may just uh, trying to understand with yourself then okay. 
in type synthesis type synthesis refer to the kind of mechanism selected it might be a linkage gear system build and pull or even a cam system okay type system means it may divide in a number of type like a mechanism is there like a gear is there build is there pull is there okay so these all are considered as a type synthesis this beginning phase of total design problem usually involve design factor such as manufacturing process material safety space and economy so when we talk about suppose belt and pulley so on that time uh, what kind of material we require for belt same way while we are using the leather or cotton belt and parallelly which kind of pulley the material pulley either it may be ms or ss or uh, cs is we are use on that time so the beginning of phase of the total design problem usually involve design factor manufacturing process how how we have to manufacture belt how to manufacture pulley even uh, uh, what kind of material we have to select and uh, parallelly if we talk about belt and pulley then what kind of safety precaution we are consider and uh, how much economic uh, this all concerns are uh, considered when we talk about the type synthesis so this type synthesis is very important when we Uh, select or when we talk about this synthesis, the study of kinematics is usually only slightly involved in uh, type synthesis. Okay, as we talk on talk about the first chapter, uh, basics of mechanics uh, kinematics. On that time, uh, whatever we are uh, con considered, whatever we are talking in the first chapter, that all are mostly mostly it are near to the type synthesis. उसके बाद क्या आएगा दैट नाउ द सेकंड टाइप There are some basic category given to you of type synthesis. I bar type link, wheel, including gear, came in their many forms. Screw, transmit force and motion that we know very well. Intermittent motion devices, tension, compression pass. While one way usually is such as belt, chain, and hydraulic or pneumatic. Like these are some category of the type synthesis. after that very important synthesis that is number synthesis which is a very uh, important and uh, already uh, we discuss in the first chapter uh, including the degree of freedom where kuzlak uh, uh, kuzlak criteria and grebler's criteria we discuss and uh, we go in detail also with uh, uh, n number of uh, links are there and uh, m number of uh, pair and joints are there and then which kind of equation we have we are getting that you have to remember and that you have to utilize in this chapter also so you just refer the ppt which already i share with you regarding uh, uh, grub, um, grubler grubler and kuzme criteria so uh, after that uh, you you just see this number synthesis then it's uh, uh, very easy for you to understand number synthesis is the second step in the process of mechanism mechanism design it deal with determine the number of degree of freedom you just remember one thing it deal with the determine the number of degree of freedom and the number of links and joints required okay here only uh, three points are very important that is uh, number of links uh, joints and degree of freedom okay number of links i just repeat number of links means l number of joints means j and degree of freedom okay h we know that that is the number of surfaces mostly uh, we are uh, uh, when we talk about the surfaces then mostly it may be uh, zero so on that time we may ignore uh, that h if it may be zero <coughs> so on that time uh, there are l j and f are important where f is the degree of freedom 
If you see the figure here, uh, where uh, degree of freedom is zero, one, and two, then what what kind of uh, link or how many links we have and uh, joints we have, then how much degree of freedom we are getting? Okay, that are uh, given to you. Uh, if you see the last figure, then uh, you can you can just uh, visualize that if if uh, uh, links are five and joints are also five. If links are five and joints are also five, then we require two degree of freedom, uh, as if it may be mentioned here by psi and phi uh, require two input for the control. So if you want to control whole mechanism of uh, uh, of uh, five links and if there are five joints, then we require minimum two input okay, to control the whole system. So on that time, now, whenever complex system we are arise and whenever the complex system are produced on that time, we prefer or we 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 just analyze the number synthesis. Okay, uh, you just remember the equation f is equal to three of l minus one minus two j minus h. Kerbler's criteria f is equal to 3 l minus 1 minus 2j, where j is the number of joint, h is the number of surfaces, and l is the number of links. Okay, so this is very important. Uh, I am not going in depth uh, regarding the Kuzbek and Kerbler's criteria because already we have discussed uh, this both the criteria in detail in first chapter. You refer uh, that PPT once again. So uh, so you just uh, uh, memorize uh, once again ki kaise, uh, and uh, how to uh, how to implement the pushback and uh, grubless criteria which are very important when we talk and uh, when we say about the uh, number synthesis okay now last synthesis that is dimensional synthesis just the third step in design Determine the dimensions of individual link is called dimension synthesis. Okay, this is a very, very, very smooth and very easiest uh, definition of dimension synthesis. When we talk about the uh, just just read each and every word. Determine the dimensions of individual links is called dimensional synthesis. When when uh, when we get the dimensions, for that we have to go with the uh, some uh, design design data book and uh, <coughs> you have to use some mathematical equation and uh, with the help of the equations and design data books and uh, uh, all the you know, good experience uh, we are we are just finding the uh, individual dimensions of each and every link after uh, getting that in that dimension we are just uh, join that all the link after joining all the links we are uh, we are creating the mechanism after creating the mechanism uh, number of mechanism are joined with each other and due to that number of uh, mechanism joined we are uh, generated we are produced in machine and that machine can utilize to get better output which we require so um, everything in the reverse process already i uh, discussed so based on that uh, we are uh, uh, concerned with the dimension synthesis also okay so now uh, these are the basic three uh, synthesis. The uh, synthesis is the opposite of analysis. I just uh, show in short and sweet that uh, synthesis is the opposite of analysis. The synthesis of mechanism is a design or cri criteria of a mechanism to produce a desired output motion for a given input motion. Uh, we have some desired output. For that, how many input we require? that is uh, created or that is uh, calculated with the help of synthesis in other words we can say that the synthesis of the mechanism deals with the determination of the proportion of mechanism for the given input and output motion okay so these are the basic uh, three synthesis that uh, type synthesis where the type of mechanism to be used Number synthesis, the number of links and the number of joints need to produce the required motion, while the dimension synthesis, the proportions or length of the link necessary. Okay, so these are the three uh, 
three synthesis in designing synthesis one factor that must be kept in mind is that the accuracy required of the mechanism okay accuracy is very important when we talk about the designing the synthesis already we know that the synthesis means what uh, individual links design okay now individual design of the mechanism when we start on that time what happen uh, one factor must be uh, kept in mind that accuracy sometimes it is possible design a mechanism that will theoretically generate a given motion as already discussed that okay, we have to use the presented above okay, we have to use some equations so these are the theoretical generate a given motion the difference between the desired motion just remember one thing the difference between the desired motion and the actual motion produced is known as structural error you just remember the thing that i want to repeat it here that uh, very important point when we talk about the dimension synthesis the structural error very very important point and what is structure is the difference between desired motion means whatever we have to uh, actually require and actual motion produced and i require the output like 75% efficiency but i can get the efficiency up to 65 okay so on that time that is 65 is actual motion actual efficiency and the desired is 75 so between that the error is up to 10 so 10% is the uh, structural error of uh, our uh, our uh, our uh, department so we can consider that that is called as a structural error in addition to these there are error due to manufacture the error resulting from the tolerance in the length of the link and bearing clearance is also known as mechanical error okay so uh, when we talk about the designing on that time uh, probably there are uh, not only structural error but also uh, error due to manufacturing error due to uh, clearance error due to mechanical it means that there are mechanical error structural error and uh, uh, and uh, we can say that uh, mechanical error manufacture error and structural error are created or generated when we are start to produce the dimension or we we consider that the synthesis okay so when we talk about the synthesis it may divide in three part type synthesis number synthesis and dimension synthesis type synthesis number synthesis and dimension synthesis and we talk about the error then structural error manufacture error and mechanical error are there and all three errors are generated while <coughs> uh, difference in the desired motion and actual motion while error due to its manufacturing while uh, error due to tolerance is while it may be error due to the clearance okay so these are the basic reason and basic uh, causes to produce the error okay now classification of synthesis problem Uh, as already we discussed in the previous lecture it may divide in three part that is function generation path generation and body generation already we have discussed about function generation body generation and uh, path generation so we know very well in uh, that thing, that all thing so uh, i just uh, want to recall you that what is function generation what is the uh, uh path generation what is body generation in short and sweet as we know very well that uh, uh, talk about the function generation the uh, we we when we talk about the equations or mathematical equations are there then major classification of the synthesis problem that arise in the design of the link in a mechanism is the function generation in designing a mechanism the frequent requirement is that the output link should either rotate <coughs> i repeat the output link should either rotate oscillate or reciprocate as per specified function or of time okay and uh, function of the motion of the link this is known as a function generation 
suppose we have the function like y is equal to f x and in that kind of case uh, x represent what the motion of the input link and the mechanism is to be designed so that the motion of the output link approximate the function y okay so we are considered that y is equal to f x now next one is the path generation uh, how to generate the path that is uh, very important uh, right now the mechanism is required to guide a point okay we have already or uh, we have already space uh, we have we have already uh, as, as i discussed in the previous lecture that we have the space and uh, along a path having a prescribed shape the common requirement are that a portion of a path be a circular either it may be circular arc or elliptical or straight line it is called as a path generation and last but not least that is body guidance <clears throat> in body guidance both the position of a point within a moving body and the angular displacement of the body are specified the problem may be simple translation or a combination of translation and rotation are covered in the okay so these are the uh, basic important or we are considered that these are the basic uh, regarding classification of synthesis and type of synthesis synthesis mechanism that we discussed today synthesis of mechanism where uh, we just uh, uh, talk about difference between analysis and synthesis importance of an synthesis type and application of synthesis classification of synthesis is may divide in three part that is function generation path generation and body guidance okay so these are the basic thing that uh, uh, we are discuss in today's lecture in next lecture we are just start the uh, chebyshev's equation and uh, based on that equation we are just uh, solving the examples based on that there are uh, graphical uh, synthesis of formal mechanism also we are solve the example uh, actually the the equations are very easy definitely it may be lengthy but uh, it's a very easy so keep practice at your home uh, as you practice in the velocity extension diagram and i center method so if you practicing at your home then i am sure that uh, uh, this kind of example also you can solve successfully